Hi all of you. This is Gil. Now you guys gotta check this out. You gotta check out what I found at the thrift store here. I got this. I found this at at the Eco Thrift Store in San Bernardino on E Street. <clears throat> and it's actually a um <clears throat> vintage um <clears throat> 10 speed bike if you guys remember these kind of bikes when they used to have the gum walls and then remember the brakes like remember like on a typical consumer bike they they would have these type of brakes right here like they would have like like it was either like you can either use the, the front brake right here or you could use the one where you so you could put your hand here and so you don't have to put your hand down here I mean, I miss those days when they used to make these bikes, but they don't make them anymore from the look of it. So I remember those <clears throat> back in the day, like if they had like a skinny, um, like spindle or if they had a skinny crank area, I don't know what they call this, like the, where the cranks go. If it was a three piece or if it was skinny, it was considered an import bike. And if they had, and if they had a real, a thick, a thick crank, it was like an American made bike, you know, back in those days. Remember the gum walls? I tell you, that's crazy, man. And also, do you remember the days when, when these, um, these 10 speed bikes, they used to come either in 26 inch or 27 inch. And the, um, 27 inch, you know, like, well, they were all, obviously bigger i mean the tire it, i think they used to measure it by the tire size by the wheel size and so like it looks like this sheet post right here it doesn't um it doesn't adjust in any way i mean i don't know i never seen anything like it before and then remember these pedals <laughs> the pedals that we used to hurt ourselves on <laughs> remember these yeah now on the other side of the bike i'm gonna turn the bike around and then we had the shifters that looked like these remember that and then this is the way the see remember that was all metal back in those days metal like everything was metal and even the derailer system yeah and then see this is the classic classic 10 speed bike where it has only five gears on the back and two gears on the front so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and ride this bike around a little to show you a little bit of it and then i guess on this bike the kickstand is on the back and remember also the the steel wheels Remember those steel wheels? <laughs> yeah. And today's bikes, they really don't do that. And they don't do that. I mean, to remember that everything was always chrome, you know, like the wheels were chrome and chrome steel, steel wheels and chrome uh, pedals and stuff. I'm gonna ride this bike right now. <laughs> I'm gonna ride it around a little bit. So yeah. I'm telling you, just around this area somewhere. Remember this? I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, you know, I remember that, <clears throat> you know, back in my day, if I remember that these bikes you used to be able to buy them like in a typical consumer store like montgomery ward we were able to buy these for like maybe typically they were 79 dollars or like 69 like they had the 26 ver 26 inch versions and the 27 inch versions and they all had brakes like right here so that way we don't have to be down here you know so it's kind of like a hybrid in in a way like where like you can use it as a sport bike when you're riding like 
really fast like a racing bike or or you could just use it as a regular consumer bike yeah remembering those days I'm telling you so just riding around my neighborhood yeah Yeah. And then of course the gum wall. <laughs> How could I forget the gum wall tires? <laughs> they surely don't do that anymore. <clears throat> Head. Yeah, they surely don't do that anymore. That's old. But you know what? This bike rides really good, man. It rides really good for being an older bike. And you know what? I feel like the weight of this bike is about the same as my um Euro Euro bike. <clears throat> you know, yeah, I feel like it's about the same weight and it rides just about as good as my Euro bike. So, <clears throat> well, you guys are probably wondering why I'm here right now because I had a day off today. Usually Fridays supposed to be a day that we have off every week where we complete our 40 hours 10 hours a day for Monday through Thursday. So yeah. <clears throat> so there's my neighborhood. <clears throat> the brakes work really good too. <clears throat> Everything on this bike works really good. All for being, um, I paid 40 bucks for this bike at the thrift store. But I mean, a vintage bike, I just bought it for being a vintage. Cause, yeah. And the next time I ride my bike, you know, like uh, for a session, I'm gonna use this one instead of the Euro bike. I'm gonna use this bike the next bike ride I go and see how this performs. Okay, I hope you liked this video. All right. <laughs>